Who said that? Do the video. Oh. Um. Sorry, guys. Just one second. One second. Alright guys, with the cringy opening out of the way, let's get started on the video. Now, this is going to be a top 5 of the games I've played this year. That means this year as in the games that are in my first impression and my revisit playlist. So if you guys want to check out all those games that are inside of my playlist, do make sure to go check that out. I'll put it, the link down in the description. But what I want you guys to do down in the comments is leave your top 5 MMOs you played this year in 2016. And without further ado, we're going to get started. Alright guys, for number 5, I chose Pokemon Revelation because it was a really good Pokemon game. And I haven't played Pokemon in like so long back then that this had a little bit of nostalgia to it. So I kept playing it and playing it and you know, all my favorite Pokemon started to come back in my head. Even some new ones, even Mega Evolves, which, you know, I never played uh, a Pokemon game with actual Mega Evolves yet. Because I don't own it like a DS or anything anymore. Well, I own it. I used to own a DS, but not a 3DS. Never actually got my hand on one of those. But this game was like extremely nostalgic and like it just kept me wanting to play it. And you can tell they put in a lot of work into this game. It has a feel of the regular Pokemon games we used to play, like Sapphire and Emerald and all that. And that's kind of why I stuck with it for a while. For number 4 on our list, we have DC Universe Online. Now, if you're looking for a great superhero versus villains game and you could be a villain or a superhero, this is definitely a game for you. And I actually enjoyed this just because I could be a villain. I always hated trying to be like the whole superhero thing. I always loved the villains a lot more like the Joker and Lex Luthor, etc, etc. But this is a great game if you guys enjoy your favorite superheroes or favorite villains like Bane to Superman to Batman you could dress up like them or you know be copies of them and the only thing that threw me off the game a bit was that mostly everything was behind paywall especially some of the abilities but that didn't keep me from enjoying the actual game you know all those superheroes and all those DLC packages you don't need them to enjoy this game which is actually pretty fun but having those would probably increase it a little bit i guess but they're not needed for our number three spot is defiance and this is a game i could play for hours this is actually a third person shooter which sometimes i wish was kind of first person with some of the sick guns they have i wish i could like get a actual first person view of it but the game is designed to be third person and it's actually a really great game. It has a good story. I'm pretty sure it is pretty much based off its um, actual series Defiance. Now I've been thinking about actually starting up that series. But you know I don't like regular TV shows but hey I'm actually willing to give this a try with how good the game is. Now this is kind of like Division in a way if you guys are into Division then this is definitely a game that you guys should try out. Now, I've played this game quite a while back then, but stopped playing it because, you know, I had a crappy PC at the time and I would be lagging everywhere and I did not have enough space on that PC. But now that I have a better one, I've actually been playing this a lot more since I remembered and did a revisit on it. Now for our number two spot is Terra Online. Now the reason I enjoyed Terra so much is because back then it was like a unique action MMO when action MMOs barely even existed. Now there's more companies developing these action MMOs which I'm actually enjoying because I like to put my skills to the test and be able to move around without any restrictions and actually fight. Instead of sitting there, you know, just tapping my skills trying to get some evasion and tanking hits. Now those are the type of MMO RPGs I enjoy. And this is definitely one that gives you like that combat sense and sense of freedom of attacking and dodging attacks. And Terra has quite a few classes and different races for you guys to try out. And character creation is really in depth, which I also enjoy about it. I can spend hours just creating my character if I want it to be like perfect. And then if I want it just to be quick and still look pretty awesome, I can actually do that. 
Now, Terra has a pretty good combat system. You know, we actually have dodging and attacking and everything. And we also have the aiming system with it. And further into the game, the bosses and everything start to get harder and a little bit more tankier, which makes battles even more intense because they hit harder as well. And actually going into a dungeon with a party is actually really fun. And all these dungeons Terra has to offer will really put your skill to the test as you have to dodge incoming attacks from bosses and all kinds of enemies that can potentially really kill you. Not to mention, the PvP inside the game is not really all that bad. I only played like one PvP match inside of Terra and that was actually extremely fun and made me want to play it a little bit more. And that was pretty much destroy the enemy's boss. So pretty much your, your team had a boss and your enemy had a boss, you had to defeat their first why de by defending off people off your boss by destroying or beating them. But I recommend you guys actually try out the game for yourself and you no know, just try it out you'll probably enjoy it you never know. An MMO that takes my number one spot is For Honor. And For Honor is a great game. I've had so much fun with it since it's been like doing all these betas and playtests. It's been a fun experience. Ubisoft is actually doing a great job on the game. God, that's the last time you guys are gonna ever hear me say that. But, <laughs> but what this game has to offer is, is intense duels and combats. You know, there's a little bit of uh, bugs and stuff that they're still working on and fixing. It is a great game. But I think this is like old footage from like closed beta. But this was actually extremely fun. I definitely, I definitely recommend you guys sign up for like the next betas and everything or purchase the game. And it's like extremely fun and me, Hollow, and Perry have played this game so much that to the point where eh, we're more than average. We used to like play duels and everything. I'm definitely gonna get um, Hollow and me together to like do our duel. We've still been trying to duel in this game, but they still have not added in challenging your friends. Ah, uh, Hollow has always been talking smack with his little samurai classes, but he doesn't know the knights have it. The knights have it in the bag. But this game actually is pretty much objective based. You have to capture C, B, or A, and then they have dueling. But there's a couple of more modes coming and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna pretty much talk about that. But if you guys are looking for an intense, like medieval, like chivalry, type game this is definitely one to pick up or try and this is one I'm definitely going to be playing on my channel a lot more whenever it actually releases which is pretty much like February the 14th I believe I'm definitely gonna cop a copy of that and start playing it on the channel for you guys have some one-on-one -on -one duels with fans or random people Jeez, I cannot wait for this game to be released this is like I have high hopes for this game I really hope Ubisoft doesn't screw it up it's been a long time since Ubisoft has actually done a really good game and this was one I'm actually having high hopes for and really wanting to jump back into. At the moment character balances are really something that is being looked into and really needs to be kind of fixed so each character doesn't feel like... So each player who come up against it doesn't feel like a certain like enemy's too overpowered or too underpowered to play with or play against. But it really is all about matchup. At the moment, I don't really see like too much of an OP class at the moment. But some of them eh, are a little bit questionable. And there's a few of them who are quite underpowered. But Ubisoft is uh, still rebalancing everything and changing the maps, adding new maps, which is actually really enjoyable with some of the new maps that they had like revamped or like put in. Ubisoft you're doing a great job with this game please 
for the love of God, continue to do a great job with this game. Don't let it fall. Alright guys, that is it for the top 5 MMOs that I played in 2016. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that video or found the game on that list that probably caught your eye or caught your interest in any way. I want you guys to put it below in the comments, what is your top 5 MMOs that you played in 2016? And at the beginning of the video, you guys were right. Your eyes were not deceiving you. I do have the vibe now. And I already have a crappy video of it up right now on my gameplay channel. But do make sure to sub to my gameplay channel if you guys want to... If you guys want to see more VR gameplays that are going to come in the future. Uh, at the moment, I have a little bit of issues right now trying to like get everything perfect and all together. But once that happens, there's going to be a lot of VR videos, a lot more gameplay videos. Um, on this channel, not so much because I do want to keep on playing all kinds of video games that I want to on my gameplay channel. And you know what, kind of keep inside the MMO scene a little bit more. But I hope you guys are enjoying everything. And a big thank you to those who have stuck with me since 2015 or the beginning of 2016. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you guys for the support. And I hope to get the more active chat and hope to see more of you guys subbing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the video. If you guys did, leave a like. If you guys didn't, leave a thumbs down. Hey. It's all up to you. Thank you guys for your time. Peace.